Hey, welcome to my channel, Black and TJ. So just wanted to like give people sort of like a insight into my life and how long I've been living in TJ. And if you're thinking about living in TJ, uh, just kind of throw out some ideas for you that might help you along the way, along your journey. So for me, I've been in TJ for about a year now, um, over a year now. I got married, I got a stepdaughter, and I got a baby going away. So I did everything pretty fast. You know, that wasn't that wasn't my plan. I didn't know my wife prior to moving down here, but I'm glad I did make that choice because, you know, I needed financial uh, freedom. And living in San Diego, I wasn't getting that. It was sort of a struggle, definitely because I wasn't working full time. But even if I was working full time, it was still a bit of struggle. Uh, and I had to work side jobs like Uber, uh, Instacart, just to kind of get by and still have money to like do what I wanted to do. But that to me, that wasn't really living. So it, it came a choice to where I had to decide either I'm going to leave California or the next best step for me is moving to Mexico where I can still cross the border, still be in San Diego and work in San Diego and still be around my friends and family. So I just kind of pondered the idea for a while. And as I got closer to my uh, having to renew my lease, uh, I just kept deciding, do I want to pay an extra $150, which they were going to increase my rent to, to 16 something, or try to move to TJ and try to save money down there and just cross every day and that's what i end up doing you know given everything that people hear and say about dj i took that chance and if i didn't like it or if it didn't work out i, was, I knew i can come back to san diego or decide to make my next move uh, somewhere else but it worked out it did and if you're thinking about considering a move to tj i would consider uh, and crossing over and wanting to cross over have for work or whatever it might be I wouldn't move down here unless I have Sentry and if you have Sentry then definitely consider you know TJ as a as a place of uh, residence but uh, if you don't have it I, I wouldn't recommend it because I, I went even with Sentry I waited in a regular line for four hours like literally four hours and it's just brutal people are mean people will honk their horn if you let someone try to kind of like merge in on you people in the back of you will start blowing their horns like excessively to where to where you want to get out the car and beat them down you know so uh i would recommend century for sure but definitely living here has been the best move I ever made. Uh, like I said, I met my wife. I got the family. I carved out a piece of life here. Got some, I met some really cool, met some real cool friends. Got some really cool, cool friends that I, you know, consider uh, like brothers. So yeah, it's definitely, definitely a good place to be. Uh, the food is amazing. That's why I done gained like 15, 20 pounds since I've been here. Yeah, my wife can cook. Her family, her mom can cook. My uh, mother-in-law, she burns. So it's definitely uh, uh, a place where you can definitely put on some weight for sure because the food is amazing. The carnitas, the swap meats where you can get anything that pretty much that you're looking for uh, for the most part. But food-wise, oh man, the food is bomb at the swap meets. Uh, yeah, and just a lot of cool places around here in um, Mexico. So I hope you guys, this is just a little sort of uh, insight into my life. Uh, I'll probably start uploading more videos, kind of uh, give you an insight to like my daily life. I'll ask my wife if she wants to be in them. Usually she's kind of camera shy or not into doing stuff like that. But uh, we'll see. Uh, but maybe, you know, my little stepdaughter, she's funny as hell. Little flock, I call her. I might, you might see, you might see some of her in my videos. Yeah, but I gotta get a permission from, from the, from the boss. 
<laughs> well, I'm the boss, but she's the second in command. That's like I say. Yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to go with that. <laughs> but anyhow, yeah, I'm gonna start just showing some um, some places around TJ, things I like to do. Um, hopefully, um, you guys can meet my friends and get their insight as well. And hopefully, you know, add more culture or more not more culture, but just more insight into everyday life living in Mexico and the things that we deal with and uh, go through. Um, just like anywhere else, you know, like there's crime everywhere else. So people think there's some people think T the, that the worst of TJ, but man, it ain't no different than any state in the United, any city in the United States. To be honest, and I feel I, was, I feel more safer than TJ than I do in, in when I was in the United States. And I grew up in the heart of Detroit uh, as a kid, and I done seen some things, not as much as other people might have seen, but I have seen a few different things, you know. And so, to me, it's just no different than any other city, you know. So everybody has their trials and tribulations and crime and and things that they have to deal with with living here on this world you know the things that we go through but overall man tj's tj's in a, a good place to be um so i'll show you guys the century line show you some of the places i like to go to some of the restaurants and things that me and my wife like to you know go eat at so yeah keep stay tuned so subscribe and like uh follow us Black and TJ. Well, that's the name on the channel so far. I might change it later. We'll see. But anyhow, I'm out.